Let's clear a few things up here. 2007 Lotus Elise with a 1.8 liter Toyota manual transmission drivetrain, mid-engine rear wheel drive. A customer had stated that the AC compressor was blowing up and leaking green dye all over the floor. And that's actually true because I just dumped a bunch of dye everywhere. Uh, anyway, we had uh, previously made a video about the compressor repair on this miniature looking Ferrari slash Lamborghini kind of car. It's a Lotus, but it's, uh, it draws some features from some other supercars. Uh, anyway, I've cut the uh, compressor out of it and uh, my customer had supplied uh, what was supposed to have been the right compressor from China and it, ha, and it appears that the new one is slightly different than the old one. Now, don't look at the uh, just the green AC dye business. Take a closer look at what we've got here. Do you spot the differences? I do. However, the parts department people that sent that, they think that this is the right one. And I had to send them pictures in a video and a bunch of other stuff to prove out that this compressor, although it may bolt into that car, because the mounts are the same, the connectors look the same, it might bolt in, but it's not gonna function in that car. Uh, for a few reasons. Reason numero uno, look at our compressor diameter difference here. Now, folks in the comments on the first video, which I will uh, link in down in this video's description and in the comments, uh, but the, the, uh, the, 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 the viewers had commented that I could just swap the pulleys out and just put this pulley on this compressor and then fire this compressor up and stick it in there. Uh, I did think about that. It's, it's a possibility. However, this is a variable geometry compressor, variable displacement compressor rather. It is a three wire system. We've got the one hot coming down to actuate the AC compressor clutch, which is the exact same as the original. We've got one wire at the connector. See the pin right there? One singular unit that runs through, gives power to the compressor clutch. And then the second wire at this clutch simply just grounds out to the case somewhere. Yeah, right here. That just grounds to the case to provide the ground for the clutch coil. Exact same design features on this new replacement compressor. However, there are two other circuits involved in this connector and those are going to run to the uh, little device here that actuates the variable geometry within this compressor. So I am concerned that even if I swap these pulleys over, this compressor will not function in that car because it has an inherent design discrepancy built inside of it. Like I said, this is a variable displacement compressor and this is a non-variable displacement compressor. I've never tried to substitute in a variable, variable displacement compressor, words. I've never tried to substitute one of these in for uh, the analog version and I don't know if it'll work. It might actually work. It might just fire up and run and chooch all day long and have no problem. But I also might put it in there. The compressor engages the clutch or the clutch compressor engages through its single power wire from the vehicle. And it just sits there and spins and spins and spins and spins and spins and, spins and doesn't actually move any volume of fluid through it or refrigerant rather. So I am remarkably leery to install this compressor uh, in this Lotus over here. And just to back my case up with a little bit of extra evidence, if we go here into the engine compartment and see if we can't see, we get some zoom action here. It's a little dark, a little faded. There we go, look at that, see that? We have one wire at the connector, one singular wire, which tells me the vehicle does not support the use of that variable geometry slash displacement AC compressor. So I, I really do not believe the parts people over in China that this is the correct unit. So unfortunately we have to uh, basically prove beyond a shadow of a doubt to them that this is the wrong one. Uh, that's not my first choice compressors, by the way. I, I usually don't use those. So don't re on me for having this in the store. Uh, it's not my car, not my purchase decision. And certainly it's not my compressor. But that is uh, my follow-up thoughts on the matter. I'm actually going to send this video over to the guy that sold us this compressor right here. And then uh, we'll see what we can do about getting another one. So stay tuned because this thing is really starting to give me a headache. See you guys later in the video.